Do you have a message for our, all the Muslims? I want. I'll show this to all the Muslims. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, what's your name? My name is Mary, Mother of Jesus. Fuck you. Oh. Get on the plane You're and not go home. We hate Islam. We hate Islam. What you think is not important in this country. You need to understand you... that. What you think is zero. You're just a dog to me. You're a dog. You're a dog. My name is Adnan. I'm the founder of Bridging Gaps Foundation, where our focus is to bridge the gap between Muslims and non-Muslims through education and outreach programs. What you're going to watch is a prime example of Islamophobia an anti-Muslim bigotry prevalent in our times. This is an incident that took place on Sunday, December 27, 2020 in Vancouver, when myself and my team members were out in Vancouver with our outreach initiative called Meet a Muslim, where we, on the street, talk to people about Islam and clarify misconceptions. Uh, do you have a message for our, all the Muslims? I want to, I'll show this to all the Muslims. you. F you. Uh, what's your name? My name is Mary, mother of Jesus. You. Get on the plane and go home. There, this conversation is no longer productive. This is not a conversation. I would love for you to keep walking away. Well, then I'm going to stay. You're going to stay? I'm going to stay and I'm going to stand right over here. Okay. And pretend. Okay. No worries. No worries. Yeah. I think, I think, Miss... Stand by my Sharia sister. You tell me to leave, I'll stay. I think, I think you, you should walk ride away. To the airport? I don't Would have a better like car. Ride to the airport? I have a car. Are you packed? Yeah, against, against the Miss, law. Can give you a ride to the airport? Miss, you're, you're going to be... Against the law. Discriminating. Which yeah. law? You are... My law says... My law says... You don't marry yeah, not open Miss, yeah. Miss, I, let's talk about no, Aisha. I don't want to no, talk to you. You don't like leave. You, you have, it's scared. your wedding, it's your wedding anniversary. Hey, don't you dare touch her. If you touch her, if you, if you touch our property, you will be in a lot of trouble. No, I'll be You will, you don't know me, you will be in a lot of trouble. You don't know me. You will be in a lot of trouble. No, she was about to kick you. No, I was about to kick the table of the This is and it's That's my fine. Street. It's Get your wedding. It's your wedding anniversary. Go and have fun. I'm having and fun. Let us you don't know this is fun. This is fun. I'm speaking to three Muslims who day. are advertising religion on a public street in Canada. We do not advertise religions on public property. Go we'll find a temple. Go we'll find a church. Go oh we'll build a mosque. That's where you talk about this stuff. Not in public. This is a public street for anybody to enjoy and you're taking up Give me two minutes space. and this will be gone, Michelle. No, we're going to be talking all afternoon as long as you're here. I don't have, I can be here all day. Can you call the, uh, the, the BC hate crime uh, group? I'll you send you the number. Them. I'll tell them exactly. The person who Do you hate, have any numbers? We hate Islam. We hate Islam. We hate Sharia. Why? Because it's against women and children. And also, we don't want to see people's butts in the air do on you, the street, in public. Do Keep you, your butt out of our faces. Get, pray in your mosque. Pray in your you, church. Go so pray somewhere in private. This okay. is not acceptable in Canada. I've, not acceptable. I've heard you. I've heard you. I've heard you. And yeah, that's good. good. For you. Thank you for informing us. And uh, and I think that's, that should be all. If you, you, what you think is not important in this country. You need to understand you, that what you think is zero. Do you want to have a conversation? Nine-year-olds should marry your prophet. Do you want to have a conversation? Do you want to have a on you? Because you're, you're basically... Could you put your finger out of my face? It's okay. She, she's not in the right my, She's not in the right state of mind. Yeah. You don't need us to call the police? No, I think I'm going to call the hate crime group. I have... I'm going to call the hate crime group because she's been... Uh, she's been very aggressive. And I've been asking her very politely to leave. Because I have, I have the number, I have the number for the hate crime group, and I will give them a call. So, Miss, Miss, see. No, no, you don't call me that one. You're just a dog to me. You're a dog. Okay. You're a dog. No, you stick your finger in my face. You're a dog. Okay. You don't stick your finger in my face ever. Okay. This is the reality of ignorance, the reality of Islamophobia, the reality of anti-Muslim bigotry that we live in. Every single one of us, whether Muslims or non-Muslims, we have a responsibility to ensure that our communities are safe and free from bigotry of this nature. The only way, the only way we can end such incidents and end bigotry is if we ground ourselves in education, in knowledge, and genuine mutual respect and understanding. If you're a Muslim watching this video, I have a message for you. Please ensure that you are doing your part 
in sharing information about Islam, in sharing the true spirit of Islam, in inviting people to the intellectual and spiritual dimensions of Islam. If you are a non-Muslim watching this video, I invite you and I encourage you to learn about Islam and ensure that you are doing your part in ending such ignorance and such bigotry through education.